All right. No okay. more talking about how right I am. Let's get to grand final. Oh, uh, Greninja. Greninja. Wow. Stretch immediately Stretch making Ninja. me a liar on the on the Twitter post. Uh, oh, you you put in Lucina? Of course. It's not like he went Lucina 100% of the time damage. on stream today. Anyway, I have to use the restroom, so oh. uh, take it away. This is his first Greninja? Yes. All right. Sonic Bean, I'll answer your question between games, but for now, uh, let's get into this. We got the Pokemon battle on the Pokemon stage, soon to be moved to Counter-Effect. No, just kidding. But we got Stretches. Uh, Greninja coming out, and according to Devin, this is his first time using the character. Could it be that he is holding back? Holding out on Mouse Rat for the Grand Final? We'll see how it goes. Because at the moment, Mouse Rat has amassed himself quite the early lead. And honestly speaking, Pikachu is... Pikachu is a type of character who can really exploit what Greninja's weaknesses are in the meta. Like, Greninja can't really get plays started just from doing air-to-air, -air, like, strikes. Like, if he hits you in the air and doesn't land, that's basically the end of the interaction. So, jumpy characters that just don't stop jumping, like Pikachu, can... Wow, nice up smash read. But what I'm trying to say is, they could be really difficult for Greninja to deal with. It's up to Stretch to figure out what openings he can get with Greninja. Wow! What a spike! Suicide spike! Absolutely brilliant. Trades out the stock. What a maniac. I love it. He's out for blood and I love it. Well, with Mousar up a full stock, we'll see if Stretch can take it back. Let's see what he's got in the tank. Surprise a combo. No such luck though. Up smash almost gets the kill. If that had killed, that could have been a huge advantage to swing. But now I, wow, nice, up, nice uh, counter attempt. I feel like it's going to be really hard. I feel like, I feel like Stretch is going to try a little hard to like reclaim that what should have been a kill, but it's not going to work out. All the while taking chip damage from Mouse Rat's signature Pikachu combos. But we shall see. What do we have here? Runs off Rock Smash. No catch, though. I assume he was reading Mouse Rat trying to jump there. You know, since that's a thing. Pikachu does a lot. It wouldn't be unreasonable just throw an up smash out into neutral like that. All right, we go. Pikachu combos. Down throw. Pika. Oh, that was an excellent uh, attempted tech punish right there. Didn't work out, though. Did it just a little bit early. Early. Picks him. Still alive. This isn't going to be good for the old morale, I think. But we'll see. No throw. He wants to come up. Wow, nice forward air. It's not easy to hit that precision that precision move. I have oh, returned. Directional air dodge. Did not make it. Mouse Rat takes game one. All right. Anyway, Sonic Bean, to ask the question. Yeah, some crazy shit Devin, happened, Devin. You missed it. Yeah, well, I only got anyway, the Sonic last Bean, two kills. To answer your question on rivals on Switch, um, uh, Dan Fornis actually made a tweet recently. Yeah, at least he got that one. Dan Fornis made a tweet recently uh, saying, uh, I'm getting a little nervous. Um, I'm trying to still hit the, uh, the uh, summer release. Thankfully, summer doesn't end until September 22nd. But between waiting for approvals and things like that, it isn't... I'm not sure how to feel right now. Hmm. Um... So we'll see. I think he's remaining cautiously optimistic because I don't know who he's waiting on. Like between like Nintendo, PS2, uh, Microsoft, Sony, Steam, or like the third party companies. But I have a feeling that like multiple companies are keeping him waiting right now. And that's why he's getting nervous. Like for the general approval. However, that tweet also read like that uh, Rivals of Ether Definitive Edition is complete and ready to be shipped. Like, literally, it's done, and he's just waiting for the approval now. That's what I got from that, and that gets me very excited. All right. While this game two is going on, I will be cutting onions. 
It's God going to be painful. Three, I will do my best two, to hide the pain one, that I'm about to be experiencing. Oh, we're not going back here? Okay. No PS2? All right. So it goes. Game. Yeah, check uh, Dan Fornis' tweet if you want to check it out. It's like near to the top of his page right now. You know, his profile, whatever. I'd get it, but again, my hands are deep in onion right now. So I wonder what the true stage will be. No, switch on. No, no, definitive edition is going to be multi platform. Every console. Let me see this clip. Never yes. fear. What the a ration. trade. I'm not sure if the online is going to be multi-platform. I would assume he's trying to do that, but oh, no way wow. to say for sure. What a kill. Yeah, pretty wild, Devin. If only you were here in person to see it. Yeah. We were too busy being neglectful. I had to use the John. The John? I'm right here, Devin. Oh, God. Oh, never mind. Jesus. <laughs> we're not ready yet. What's the better, trainer? So Devin, I just want to confirm. You said that this was uh, Stretch's first time using uh, on stream. This yeah. entire tournament on stream. Oh, on stream. How would I know okay. who he plays? I'll stream. Check all the results, Devney. I'm busy. Ask Helper. I'll end you. Three, two, one. All right. And then we ended up going to PS2 right? anyway. I see. Makes perfect sense to me. Despite the rocky start, uh, Stretch was able to make a pretty decent comeback in that first game, so he could probably still be feeling uh, confident in Greninja's ability before going back to Lucina, who I assume is who he's been playing, yes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Sonic Bean, just to put a pin in the uh, final point, uh, it is possible for the online of Rivals to be multi-platform. After all, some games on Switch are multi-platform online, like uh, Fortnite. That can play with Fortnites from all kinds of consoles and PC. So there you go. Anyway, on to the match, which is looking real watery to me right now. <laughs> Much more even for stock. Good show, good show. Ah! What's up? Okay, never mind. Alright. All right. This is uh, a bit more. Significant Octane than the last set. I don't know, Devin. I think the pace is about the same. Ooh! Nah, we have nice stocks taken within the first two minutes. That's a that's a that's a stock per minute. It's uh it's pretty good. What? You have a problem with six minutes per stock, Devin? Little bit. Wee bit. A dash. We trainer. We tech those. And we die. We tech those, trainer. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm done. Ooh, we still tech those. He's on a sheet, but he's teching it. Yo, we're teching on net play. Let's go. 
What a time to be alive. Especially for Crutch, who is actually alive. And did the lead! What do we got here? Just like in the previous set, if you're not like okay, good good three, wow. good jump call out by uh top Nosferat. from that. Yeah, I mean I assume Sonic Team uh Sonic Team, Jesus Christ. I assume Stretch is holding in, so it's understandable. Wow. But also don't forget Greninja has higher gravity, so he flies upwards higher. That could have been a contributing factor. Pick up. Hits the smash. Almost doesn't kill, but it killed enough. That looks weird. See, that's the mark of a professional assassin. Kills you just enough to do get the job done. Yeah. Where are we going next? I think we're going back to PS2 unless they swap off the out of the arena. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Onion's really done, taking it out of you, huh? Huh? Onion's really taking it out of you, huh? Yeah. I have finished cutting the onions. The suffering is over. I can finally wash my hands, Ready? touch my eyes. Touch your eyes anyway, what? Oh god, no! <laughs> I've got onion all over my hands, I'll die. <sighs> Game three. All right, yep. Stretch trying to make a statement with that Greninja of his. Let's see what he's got. Opens up with a nice 39. Yeah, but Mouse Rider right retaliating. Oh, what kind of substitute? I wonder what he was expecting there. Probably his shield dropped down, so I'll have to guess based on that spacing. Oh, he even read the air dodge. I'm surprised. Yeah. The forward smash has deceptive range. All right, what do we got going on here? Okay. Interesting. Stretch only. Stretch only has mouse drive 87. Nice. Right, he did it again. Fishing for. I guess that's the reason why, because it was just going to kill anyway. I was like, why is he fishing for raw smashes at 87? And we find out the reason. Pikachu is not heavy. Nope. Kirby Let's see how Mass Rat responds. Oh, smash, but it's not going to be enough. Oh. Edge Trap Smash. Oh, you can see that that so, weird recovery definitely threw Mouse Rat off. Oh. 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 Yeah, we got the patent pending Greninja combo. Oh, nice. Will it ever get out of the patent office? I respect the substitute attempt there, but... Oh! It's a bounce. It doesn't die. In Smash 4, he would have died from bouncing like that, but thankfully they made it so Greninja can live in this game. If he happens to smack his face on the stage like that. God, that move is active. It's so active. Honestly speaking, the best thing you can do if you grab ledge against Pikachu is literally just continue to hold the ledge. Yeah. There's nothing Pikachu can do to, like, threaten the ledge aside from, like, thunder control. But then you're just going to re-grab the ledge. Yeah. I get that if you're playing, like, a super fast-paced character like Reninja, you may feel obligated to make a move, but nah. Just stay put. Isn't it? Well, I mean, I guess it depends on the character, but, like... If Pikachu goes far back enough to cover the roll and normal get up, 
will it catch the jump? I guess it also depends on the character and how. I mean, jump. if he does that, you just wait for him to let go and then jump. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, like, really just. Uh, just forward smash there. has. Forward smash has low cooldown, but it's not so low that Pikachu can pressure you after you react to it and do ledge yeah. jump. You just hold it, and wherever he was facing, just pick the appropriate option. Let's see what happens here. Oh, I respect the edge guard attempts. But you can it's not all that easy to just go off the stage and say, hey Pikachu, I'm edge guarding you. Because this is something Pikachu's been doing all the way back six, six, since 64. If Pikachu sees you take one step off that stage, he's just gonna up B right back to the middle. And it's just like, okay. Of course it was better in 64 since that had iframes all over the place, but. The tactic still applies, no matter which one you're talking about. Alright, we've got an even final stock going on here. Who will be the first one to take advantage? As my voice proceeds to explode, I bet. Oh. You try to combo Pikachu, we might be but Zeus or it might says be no. <gasps> Imagine if he just held that forward smash. <laughs> knows or whose side anyone's on. Uh. Uh. There we go. Man, Mousetrap's really dealing quite a lot of damage now. Yep, catch and roll. Pikachu wins. All right, now we're on, you know, reset point. Are we going to see the switch to Lucina? Maybe. Maybe. Of course, it's still processing well and some. It took forever. It was a 45 minute video. Thank you for the long form video for YouTube. Yep, Stretch is switching to Lucina. Three, two, 
All right, yeah. So counter picking to Smashville, uh, and switching to Lucina, pretty, pretty clear stuff right there. Nothing sneaky, nothing apologetic about it. It's just like, yo, man, I'm going to, going to my main's best stage. Roll into this, please. No, you didn't. Okay. All right, we're doing normal getup, but uh, that one whiffed. We did a delayed normal get up. Ooh. All right, not gonna able to do anything after that. Uh, what is that move even called? Just whatever the side being. He just like fell into the bottom. He was either too low. It is skull bash. Yeah, I tricked myself into thinking dash attack to skull bash because it really is. Whoa, the Wi-Fi set with no SD. Let me go around. All right, but evening up the stocks. that a move like Skull Bash wouldn't mean you use your own skull to bash them, but that you would bash their skull. Like, if you told that to someone who didn't know about Pokemon, and it's like, oh, he used Skull Bash, they'd be like, whoa, that's metal. What? He does what now? Wild. That's in a kid's game? It's just a glorified headbutt. Let's be real, guys. Come on. Nice. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Doing it too early. Not able to make it back. I actually didn't see the distance. Maybe he couldn't have made it back at all. I closed my eyes for a moment. And Smash is also a move. Does it involve you using your own head, or does it involve their your opponent's head? Is it in the same realm as oh my? Same realm as Skull Bash? That really kind of came down to the wire there. But yeah, Stretch bringing it to game five. Uh, if he wins this next game, the tournament is over and he will be the uh, new Xeno Wi Fi champion.
you smash your head into the opponent. It's, it's so stupid. They don't. They're using these names backwards. Okay, so, whoops. My computer exploded. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, welcome back. Yeah, so, Mousepad actually the... opting to go back to Smashville. I mean, I guess he saw that it went well enough for him that it could be totally in the cards. It's also not a bad What happened? Did he die in a wacky way? Uh, no, it's just the fact that this was Stre Stretch literally counterpicked this stage and switched to Lucina. It's like, oh, I'm going to go to my main's best stage. I'm switching Sounds to my main, right. by the way, lol. And it's just like, okay. But then it, it still went pretty close, uh, given all of that. So Mouse Stretch probably like, oh, yeah, I could probably go here. And besides, like, Pikachu's fast. Like, you can't escape him. So, and that platform doesn't really save you from him in general. So, definitely is not a bad Pikachu stage. Yeah, but it's still a pain to deal with any sortie just standing on that platform and automatically winning neutral sometimes. Yeah. I guess Pikachu can deal with it pretty well, though. But anyway, I was wondering when Stretch was going to go back to Lucina. Either uh, on this set point, when the set is taken, or just not at all. Maybe Stretch would have just stuck to the principles and just stuck with Greninja for the whole thing. Either I way, mean, he has a set that he could, you know... Quote unquote, he could donate. I'm saying, so, yeah. even if he lost this set, I'm saying still stay with Grinning Jump no, for some reason. One. Yeah. I was wondering which one it would be. He could at least neutral. It's true. Oh! Putting Stretch in a really bad position. Also, um,. I want to mention a uh, interesting way of edgeguarding characters that apply to mostly characters that do like uppercuts that are hard to stop. You know, uh -huh. like Lucina. You know how when you try to edgeguard them, they kind of just veer away from you really low and then double jump up B? Mm hmm. Literally just. Wow, nice. Hold there. Not gonna come on. Did I break up? A little bit, yeah. Sorry about that. I mean, you can't control, it's all good. Anyway, what I was getting at is uh, when you're fighting these characters like Lucina, Mario, uh, I'm sure there's a few others that I can't think of right now. When they do that thing where they just go extraordinarily low and then double jump up, they literally just run off the stage after them and put still their double jump. Yeah. I've been trying that out since... Uh, or if you, or if you're again. a character with like a, a meaty like nair or just a meaty move in general, so it's like you can stuff them. And it's just like they already burned their double jump. So it's just like depending on yeah, how. Yeah, but that's risky yeah. because if you're doing a nair that low, you're like you might die. A footstool, if you get it, you live and kill them. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely just thinking about runoff nair as Ivysaur, and I, I don't okay, care okay, what yeah. anybody does. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, do a run off Nero's Ivy sort of Yeah, you but you get what I mean. Yeah, anyway, totally, absolutely. Because like they're straining I mean, their feel, recovery. Yeah, and I feel like the characters that uh, lean on this the heavily are the ones that, you know, we typically say, oh, this character doesn't have a good recovery. Mm -hmm. Like you could do it to the Lucinas, you could do it to Mario. I bet you could even do it to Joker when he has Arsene. Uh. Maybe. He gets invincibility, so... That's true. He could just up B without double jumping, too. Yeah. How about Joker without our set? Well, you should be doing that anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Tether recovery. You should do that.
Oh man, this looks like we might get a reset. Stretch has to make something happen now, because 100 damage uh, in the bank for... Oh, nope! Ooh, actually living. Lives. Okay. Oh. Those tip of forward smashes hit really hard. That they do. Oh, not again. No, just come on. Wow. Like, not... Like, not like that. Can we not... <laughs> it's, it's literally the same reason why people fall into Ivysaur forward smashes at the ledge. I feel it's like... It's just like, I gotta one. do something immediately, it's and just... Ivysaur's like, I got everything covered, fool. It's... Pikachu's the same. I don't know about that. Everything. Fool. It's like you know how much that move lingers. You know the space that it covers. Like, don't do normal get up. Don't do roll. Sometimes people want to push a button, Devin. Let them push buttons. Then if they want to push a button, then hit like back or down. Like disconnect yeah, from the ledge. Yeah, the ledge against yeah. Pikachu. He's in the middle it's of doing that. Fine. It's fine. Or just just hold the ledge. Well, like no, they have to press a button, on. John. You're right. How about they press nothing? If they were playing on a fight pad, they'd be able to press five, and <sighs> nothing would happen. All right. Well, we got ourselves a reset. Uh, un momento. The rice is complete, and I'm about to dump it into this frying pan. Into two of the best vegetables ever created, mushrooms and onions. Mm. So, Devin, real talk, I do want your opinion. Do you really think there is no future for uh, nine starters? Uh, yeah. On the stage list? Yeah. Wow. All I, right. I think it's really, it's really silly. I mean, it sounds silly. But is it silly? Yes. Damn, all right. Devin has spoken. I don't know. I just feel like that the logistical annoyances are worth, like, the starter balance that you get. But that's just me. Nah, I, I think the barrier of entry I think that's a lot of people, like, actually. People, bro, the amount of people I need to, like, tell, like, what stages to strike, uh... Uh, in initially is like hold on yeah yeah like when people are just like they're striking for the first time it, it's like such a god damn it the names it's it's like you really I, want you I really need me to list nine freaking stages i mean devin i think stage striking is kind of like an alien concept even regardless of i know and now you're trying to make them memorize even more just don't think it's right anyway game one true finals uh, I, I guess, you know... We don't know yet, King Ark. I've been saying that you keep both, but on the starter list. Uh, we can't speak too much on stages, but it does seem like that both Small Battlefield and PS2 will be legal on the same stage list. Yeah, probably. But whether or not they're together on the starter list is something else to be seen. Yeah, probably not. Or probably. Ah, yes, we Lou. Game one of True Finals. Oh my god, it's after midnight. Good, Good lord. Good morning. Yeah, this one ran really late. What happened? Top six best of five with Mouse Rat and Losers. Nice. <laughs> we had a 45 minute set with Lonesome. Sounds good to me. Yeah. No! <laughs> Please! You don't have to react to him charging forward smash. You can just read it. Like, what else is he going to do? It's actually, someone uh, tell me. Like, tell me what else is he going to do if you were to, uh, if you were to predictably hold the ledge a little bit longer. He'd do nothing. 
Pikachu can't hit the ledge. Fantastic. So then take a breather. Take a I'll moment. Count. Some deep breathing. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, runs off. Kind of surprised Mouse Rat just skull bashed in that situation, but whatever. Lonesome, did you win the best of three? All oh, right, you won 2-0. All right, blame oh, helper. Oh, Lonesome was up 2-0. Holy smokes. Mouse Rat gets the kill. I like how. Uh, See, best Mouse of five Rat is cursed. Kind of become I like how Masra has kind of become like the villain of this this meta. Uh, Despite him being such a sweetheart. Yeah, no, I I, I like Masra. He's 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 a, he's a friendly guy. But if you had to base his character off of his character, then you know he, he'd probably be like he's he's a criminal. Man. He's a criminal. Why don't I enter Zeno? Uh, Kagar, I enter Zeno. I don't enter Zeno because I have something I like to call common sense. He doesn't want to play Wi Fi. Absolutely not. Underblandable. Oh, look! What'd you say, Dad? Look! He hung on the ledge! I always think it's funny that, like, there's, like, there's a very. There's a very non zero chance that, you know. The Louis, players have the casters play. in earshot on their setup, and then when you when you we literally say like just hang on the ledge, bro, and then they do it. I'm just like very nice. Oh god, are we coach? We're coaching them. That's no good. It's okay. It's Wi-Fi, so everything is training. It's also a local, so coaching would already be okay. Fight me. Excuse me, Devin. Uh, these tournaments are a true representation of real life, and MK Leo is washed. Yeah. Although what I just said was I like even it's a local, so I'd be fine with coaching anyway. Fight me on this. <laughs> it's like we use this to get better to go to majors. <laughs> if we're not trying to up our ability as fast as we can, what are we trying to do, honestly? Anyway. Awesome. Potential tech situation. Back air. What happened now? Yeah, that's what's gonna go nice and low and almost oh. That could have been really bad for Stretch, except he's only at 57, so it doesn't matter. Stretch can probably go for two or three trade situa trade attempts before he has to actually start sweating. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Nice there. Good use of the up smash to... Oh. You're out of here. Oh. He runs up, does the back air, doesn't even care. Very nice. He's like, I know, I know you're about to jump backwards and throw out a move. I won. Father. Here comes my... I won. Here comes my answer to your... Father. Yeah, I like how Lucina still talks as if Krom isn't here. I mean, she it's could like, be just, she's just talking to Krom on the character selection screen. That's okay. Father, if you were here with me now, what would you say? You're in my way. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. That's your daughter. <laughs> oh, what a character. Uh, uh, uh. Though, to be fair, uh, Terry Bogard definitely does ask his girlfriend, are you okay, in his games. He's really savage. just, uh, yeah, he's just flirting with the entire Absolutely cast. Savage. No, are you okay? He's asking his girlfriend in the game. In the audience? Nah, I like to think that he's I'm just flirting he's with the whole cast. Nah, I'm, I like to think that he's actually just flirting with the whole cast. He would yeah, do that. Very promiscuous. Explode. Species mean nothing to this man. Also, hey, nubbies. Ow. You don't need to be promiscuous to be flirty. Like, but, all right. I've been steam burned. He's laying hands on a lot of people, bro. <laughs> I mean, he's definitely throwing them, yeah. Go! Let's see how game two goes. Wow, what happened? I looked away for two seconds. It's, it's only been 15 seconds. Why is he at 110? Um, what happened to this man? Yeah, I would up be out of hits on there too. It would slapped. potentially kill him. Yeah, it's like, what's he gonna do? Give him a punish for a few damage? 
All that's, right. That's the power of percent and stock advantage. That's you what we ex- call you can afford to full extend. stock lead. Well, let's see if Mouse Rat's got an answer. He did yank a game off of Stretch's Lucina. Let's see if he can do it three times now. <laughs> up, 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 up. Oh, we got those advanced Lucina combos. Very nice. That could have been really bad. I respect it. Oh, Master Rod ain't getting too bad. Oh, not- I can't believe that reach! I was gonna say I hope Mouse Ride isn't like trying to get desperate or anything like that. I can't tell 100%, but I generally know that people start to reach when you see them try to two frame Marcina. If you know what I'm saying. I wasn't listening. What did you say? No, I said I hope Mouse Ride isn't getting desperate. I can't tell for <gasps> sure, but I do know that when people get desperate against Marcina, they start to try two framing them, and it never works. Yeah. Don't try that. They cut you. Don't try it. Even if you can, don't. Please. But I can't tell if Mouse Rat's actually desperate. I'm just saying that's a telltale sign. A coming of the ages. All right. Masra has gotten it somewhat even, but securing a stock when he's at a stock disadvantage like this, that's not the easiest thing in the world to do, honestly. Especially against Lucina, who technically swings like a heavy when she uh, is in possession oh, of stock advantage. Oh, come She's on, like, oh, Stretch. I'm just going to swing like a lunatic. You really tried to win the game right there. <laughs> because if my lunatic swinging works, I have everything to gain. And if I mess up... I still have another stock, sucker. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I kind of like that. Stretch takes the hit, too. The, the game, the set two adaptation. The is not written. All right, Stretch on tournament point. Up 2-0. Yeah. When someone gains stock advantage, uh, the person who gains the advantage tends to do one of two things. They either get extremely aggressive and try to push it as hard as they can because now they don't care about taking any trades or they get extremely defensive and try to conserve the lead as hard as they possibly can. When it comes to heavy hitters, they definitely fall into the former by like a mile. They're just like, I'm going to swing because if my heavy swings work like once or twice, you're like done. Yeah. And I have all the momentum in the world to try making it work. I would say Lucina, despite not being a traditional heavy, definitely acts like a heavy in that regards. All right. Not Marth, though. Poor Marth. Where are we going? They haven't they switched out of the arena. Oh. Pepper. Might be changing character. Yo, the secret mouse rat we fit trainer? Could it be? Certainly not. Luigi's is calling a rat reverse 3-0. Yep, we're going. The battle is about to start. Yep, going back to Smashville because I don't know what he changed. Probably this. Up. Oh, oh, okay. No, then we're not. All right, now that they've both switched off, then Ready? we're definitely not. Da -da 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 -da. I forgot to turn the heat to high. Let's go. Okay, guys. Ha! You thought. Ready? Oh, it's probably Stretch. Mouse Rat's probably not ready, and it's probably Stretch who's pressing start. Ready? All right, well, I don't know where we're going. Mouse Rat realized that uh, these sets were going too fast, so he tried to kill some time here to make up for it. All right, where are we going? I swear if it's Smashville. Three, I think it's Smashville. Two, one, Smashville. Go! But to be fair, he did. Are they doing? Were they experiencing lag? 
Maybe my man is testing a controller. All right, I guess we're getting started now. Interesting. Lucina literally I said, think... come at me. So, I mean, yeah. Not enough though. Oh! <laughs> Alright, so now. See, he did the footstool, just like I told him. Mouse Rat. Taking Mouse Rat's first got an blood. advantage for the first time this set. Yeah, and with his passive play, like. Uh, I know. Stretch is gonna have to very... try and go on and get it back. That's true, but playing passive only goes so far against Lucina on Smash Bowl specifically. This is true, there is nowhere to run. That's... Yeah, when she's on that platform, she's threatening you okay. from everywhere. Except the ledge. That's my home. Wow, just raw bait. Despite being a sock down, I can see that Stretch is like trying to overextend himself into like a kill. But unfortunately, his mi wow! Unfortunately, what numbers? I was, I was gonna say his micro adjustments weren't really serving him well, but <laughs> he found to the, the untrained eye. Yeah. Okay. I saw that coming miles away. No double jump. He's coming out, and yeah, there was nothing Lucina could do there. Any character with a linear recovery like that, that doesn't have their double jump and gets yeah. pushed out there, they're done. It's really strange, and there's not really not much you can do when they're covering the and one option the that you have to go for. Yeah, it's the weakness of having a primarily uh, vertical recovery. Yeah, that is. And I say weakness with a lot, a lot of air quotes. Oh, interesting bait. I respect that. All right, what does Mouse Rat got? Is that it? No, double jump available. Ah. Yes, S smash, run back S smash. I love it. Ooh, we're doing it more happened get again. up into Pikachu F Smash. Pikachu wins. Dude, Ivysaur just makes a cameo every time that happens. He's just like, "Good job, Pikachu." Just like I, I don't know how you think that's comparable. Ivysaur is not as lingering as Pikachu, like at all. I know they have slight differences. Ivysaur is a bigger, huge Pikachu's difference. More lingering. Linger is a huge difference. Okay, but Ivysaur is super big. She's... Okay, I don't, I don't know what. He's proud of him. Just All accept right. it, Darren. Right, accept John. the Pokemon love. I don't really see how they're that similar. They're similar in execution. They're basically used in the same situations, even if they are functionally different moves. Sure. It is the I'm going to run back to a safe spot and charge up this smash attack that will cover all of your options. I mean, they just cover the options differently. It's it's a tighter timing. Okay. That's a big deal. I, oh my god. I, I don't know. Devin, I've had it. Like, we're just pretending the timing isn't a thing, apparently. And I... Wait a minute. Stretch picks not Smashville. I'm very surprised about this. I have to wonder what the reasoning here is. Like, why not go back to Smashville? It's clearly. 
I know that Master Rat was able to get the advantage in that previous game, but I feel like it wasn't dependent on the stage, if you know what I mean. Like, Stretch was definitely still able to get his shenanigans going with Lucina aerials on the Smash Bros. platform. So I have to wonder what his uh, thought process would be here. To be fair, Lucina does have two platforms to launch attacks from on this stage. And she can still technically cover over one half of the stage by standing on one platform, but still. Stretch waited. Good job. Good show. <sighs> yes, beat start is still continuing. Yes, yeah, no beast. <laughs> yeah, beast. There were five timeouts in a single set. All right. Yeah, Devin with the facts, but also the big boonery. You ever have a maximum time best of five? Devin, are you really asking that to numbers? I actually don't think that has happened with numbers. You're telling me if we don't go I back to a nebulous don't think set? So. Where they've stood five, on opposite sides of the stage and we're not going to find I don't think there's ever been five like timeouts in a row. Jeff, I don't think you understand. I don't t get timeouts in this game. No, no, we're talking about Smash War, bro. Well, obviously Smash War, but I'm past those days. But like, I don't, I don't think even in Smash War you had five timeouts in a row. No, I've never had a, a quintuple timeout set. Yeah. I think the most I've ever had in one set was two. Yeah, this is this is surpassed. Also, to be fair, one of those games was in a timeout. It ended literally on the last. Second. That's a timeout. Because Lonesome was like, I'm That's out winning. That's a timeout. So That's a timeout. Mm. Technically not. It would be four. Nope. Don't care. That's a timeout. <laughs> if the announcer's announcing the time, it's a timeout. Now, while we were talking about this, Mouser has been put into dire straits here. Because the thing is, this is going to be really hard for Mouser because he can't just go in like crazy for combos because there's always the risk that Lucina will just hit not be out of the combo. It's just like, oh man. Now I have to worry about this invincible reversal option that she really doesn't care about if she messes up a couple of times. Stretch almost won it right there. Holy smokes. Stretch has got some really clairvoyant reading ability. I got a sec. No double jump. He's gotten a top. Yes. It's one of those situations where he doesn't mind. He knows he won't die from it. Tech situation. No luck. Master Rat doesn't capitalize. What happened now? Forward Smash! Very active. Almost as active as Ivy Swords. <laughs> oh. Let's see what happens. And there That's we it. go. He, he DI'd out, I believe. Good I think he tried to DI uh, the first Nair, the first hit of Nair, but got hit by the second. Father, I'm victorious! We did it. Trading paid off. We did it. Dude, Prom is so silly. Trading paid off. Alright, well, congratulations to Stretch, the big winner. I'm not hearing a whole lot of fanfare about this right now. Huh? I'm... Is this supposed to be like the dark future or something? What do you mean? Oh, I, don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm just like, I'm congratulations, just... Stretch. Yeah, congrats, Stretch. And, and Zeno no Wi Fi 22 champion. I was like, wow. You I did guess it. everyone just hates Stretch's guts or something. No. I was just trying, I was setting up the outro and all that. Congrats. Woo!